So this is the style of torque wrench that I'm used to using. This is what we used to have back when I was working in RF. And uh, I think these go for like $300 new. There's something ridiculous. You know, they were scattered all over the lab. Anyway, um, what they are is a torque wrench. And um, they are for tightening down RF connectors, like SMA connectors. Um, and so they have a handle, which is the torque wrench part. There's a little pivot with a little spring-loaded dimple that sets the torque and everything. And then there are different size um, rent open and wrenches that you can put on them. And like a SMA, I think it's 5 16th inch, inch. Anyway, so what I need um, is a cheap one of these. <laughs> so I went onto eBay and I found the handle part for $7.95. And it didn't have the little wrench part, all right? So uh, I figured I'll make one. Easy enough. So here's a picture of what I, I'm missing. It has this little open-end wrench that goes on to the handle. And so I kind of reverse engineered the size of everything, and I created a little file, and I 3D printed a wrench just to check out sizes and it needs to be steel. So I'm just checking out sizes and making sure everything's going to work. Uh, I measured the di diameter. It it's, goes into a hole. So the diameter of the hole is around eight millimeters. Um, it's like, it was like seven, 7.92 uh, millimeters. Um, and so I 3d printed a couple of versions and different lengths and stuff. And I figured out exactly, I think the size that, matches that drawing that I had or the uh, photograph that I had. So it's the little sh the short one here in this picture. Um, so I uh, found a piece of steel of the right thickness and all I need to do is then transfer my uh, design onto a piece of steel and cut it out. Uh, so put some dicum on the, uh, on the steel, laid it out with some lines. I put a hole right where the wrench opening will be. So uh, those four extra holes are just on that piece of random piece of steel that I had, but those will get, those will get uh, uh, milled away. But I did put that one hole kind of anchoring where the open end wrench will be. Um, so I cut out the piece of steel um, and filed it down. So it's uh, fitting the, uh, fitting the SMA connector nicely. Uh, then I needed to lay out the tang at the end and uh, cut that out. Um, the little tang goes into the torque wrench, and there's actually a hole in, in that receiver that allows you to fix that wrench head inside of the torque wrench. So anyway, I put in a little uh, 440 uh, set screw to hold that all in place. And uh, yeah, here we are. So I now have a... Uh, $300 torque wrench for $7.95. Not too bad. Um, so that will work out fine. People are uh, curious about what torque levels you need for certain things. There's a table you could find online that gives you all the different types of connectors and what type of torque values you should use on all of those connectors. Um, the ones that I'm interested in are the SMAs. And you have to pay attention, what is your SMA made out of? Is it going to be stainless steel or is it going to be brass? Because the brass uh, SMAs uh, are, are torqued down to uh, three to five inch, inch pounds. And the uh, stainless steel ones are usually around eight. Um, it says seven to 10, but usually around eight uh, inch pounds for those. So um, make sure you've got the right torque wrench for the right job. All right, the final thing to do is calibrate this thing. Um, it has a sealed end. It has a uh, um, like a solder blob that's been put in the end and it's been stamped with its last calibration. Um, I'm going to drill that slug of um, lead out of there and it exposes a locking hex ring and a slotted screw that's the calibration. So you remove the locking ring, adjust the torque, and then you can put back the uh, put back the lock ring. 
And here I am with a, a one pound weight and uh, calibrating this thing. I'm calibrating it for about six, uh, six uh, inch pounds. All right, there we go. How to, uh, how to make your own, uh, make your own wrench and uh, put it back in service.